Hello everybody, today's video is going to be what's in my makeup bag. Now I must add that before we start that uh, a lot of the products in my makeup bag are readily available from Boots and Superdrug and discounted beauty stores as I don't tend to wear a lot of high-end makeup because when it runs out I don't think I'll be able to afford to replenish them. So a lot of my everyday makeup is available from the drugstore as we call it. So I have quite a large um, everyday makeup bag. This is actually a men's wash bag from Harrods and it's just lovely. It's a little bit battered now because it comes absolutely everywhere with me but it fits absolutely everything in and because it's uh, so long it fits the naked palette and it also fits my brushes and the brush roll in the top which is something I really really like about this and I just think it's just a really nice little patent makeup bag. I probably got it about hmm, just over a year ago from the Harrods gift shop so I'm sure they've probably still got some in now. I carry all of my makeup in this uh, when I'm staying at someone's house or I'm going back to uni this is all I'll take with me because as you can see behind me my makeup is actually stored in those chest of drawers behind me and you can't really be lugging that around can you? So I think what I'm going to do, um, the easiest way to show you is tip everything out onto my bed and then put it back in in order of how I would apply it. So then you also kind of get a um, what I'm using on my face at the moment slash the order that I put it on kind of video as well. So that's a bonus. So here we go. <laughs> I must say before we start that because this will be such a long video because there's that much stuff in my makeup bag, uh, if I have written a product review about a certain product that I'm talking about I'll link it in the down bar below so you can go straight to that to see um, kind of a more in-depth and comprehensive review about that product because I don't want this video to be like 40 minutes long or something I think you'd be a little bit bored by that. Okay so I usually start by using a primer and this is the one that I go to time and time again it's the Murad Skin Perfecting Primer in the matte finish. I think I got this uh, a miniature size version of this product in a glossy box and then I went on to buy the full size product because I loved it that much. Next up it's foundation and this is the kind of controversial foundation, the collection Last Imperfection Ultimate Wear Foundation uh, SPF 20 and Oil Free and it looks like this. Now you've probably heard a lot of other YouTubers and bloggers talk about this and give it kind of a really bad review but I have written a review about it and I'll link it below. I absolutely love this foundation, it's the only foundation for me, I've never got on with another one as well as I get on with this. So it's kind of interesting that most people really hate it but I love it, I have it in ivory too and it's just a great foundation to me I'm quite I'm quite taken with it and it's absolutely bargainous as well so if you are willing to give it a try go in with an open mind and I suppose it's one of those that you can afford to put in your makeup drawers and never use again if you didn't like it so surprise surprise with concealer <laughs> it's the collection I keep wanting to say collection 2000 it's the collection last imperfection concealer and mine is in the shade light 2 as you can see like everybody else's the kind of writing's worn off but this is such a great concealer this is my foundation's quite a it sounds awful but it's quite a cakey foundation and this is quite a cakey concealer so all in all I have a kind of cakey face <laughs> Well, I hope not. So this is quite a thick concealer, so it's I find it really, really good for getting those really juicy spots that are just like really unruly. The next thing I do is my eyebrows, and I must apologise that the packaging on my eyebrow quad is a little bit messy because I've had it quite a long time. It's basically this quad of eyebrow shadows from W7. I obviously used the dark brown one here mixed in with a little of the chocolate brown um, shade and just used that with an angled brush in my brows. Um, I've been using this for a long time, I picked it up from Extras and it's called the Brow Bar Eyeshadow. Then on the tails of my brows I used this uh, MUA Intense Colour Eyeliner in Rich Brown which um, is actually an eyeliner but it's cool to use it on your eyebrows, I'm sure it's fine. I use this one in Rich Brown because it's got a little tinge of red in it. I don't know how well my hair picks up on camera. It, it looks a different colour every time I film. I'll link the post to the dye I last used uh, in the down bar below. So you can see that in True Light of Day it is rather red. So I use this pencil to kind of redden up my brows a little bit. So they're not as dark and harsh against the red. What do we have next? Ah, this is a L'Oreal Lash Serum, which is supposedly 
supposed to be for your regrowth of your eyelashes. I don't use it for that, I use it as a brow gel to kind of set the powder and the pencil onto my eyebrows and keep it in place all day. Now I haven't noticed that it's made my eyebrows grow and they're very very sparse and thin so I don't know if this really would make your eyelashes grow but hey ho. Next up is powder and because I said before I use quite a thick foundation and concealer uh, I definitely need something to set it with and as you can see the packaging has worn off this as well but this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder which is highly coveted here on YouTube as you know uh, and I've got the shade number 3 Peach Glow. Now there is quite a lot of light coming through my window here so I'm not sure if that's just showing up as just a white a white aura but I absolutely love this powder and it's great for making my makeup set I have to do a little bit of walking to the train station when I'm going to work so I use this to keep my face shine free and avoiding that sweaty brow and avoiding you know sweatiness <laughs> it's really good and good for touching up throughout the day for bronzer, I've been loving my bourgeois, well I'm just going to call it the chocolate box bronzer because I don't know how to say its actual name but this is in number 51 and as you can see I've used quite a lot of that, uh, I just used that just here just to add a bit of colour to my face and for blusher I've been kind of trying one out and one that I always go to this is the Krylon for glossy box blusher in the colour glossy rosewood I absolutely love this blusher I think it's lovely and it's so soft and I've been trying out the stargazer blusher and this is just blusher wood. I love the colour of this blusher and I've got it on today actually random things I've just picked up is this uh, leopard print tweezer man tweezer which uh, I couldn't live without with my unruly brows and these what do these call it? They, I got these fairly recently. Uh, is it Emit? Um, eyelash curlers. These are really good. I was using some cheapy ones from Body Care, um, but I got these in a recent glossy box and I'm very impressed with them. So, a few miscellaneous things in there. Usually on my eyes I wear my Urban Decay Naked Palette but I'm kind of sick of lugging that around and ever since I lost Toasted to my boyfriend's bathroom floor I've kind of not been loving it in the same way so I've kind of found a dupe for Toasted from MUA and it's one of their eyeshadows and it's in the shade 24 um, I absolutely love this, it's such a gorgeous heather colour is what I'd say and it's in a pearl finish and I kind of swoop that all over my eyelid. So I've kind of been a little bit experimental with my eyeshadow recently. Uh, I don't know if you can see today, I've kind of got this shade in my socket line and it's again by Stargaze and it's the colour Red Raptor and I absolutely love it. Now it looks a little bit of a scary colour, like it's kind of a bit uh, worrying to wear but oh god I love it and it it's just a different colour, kind of reminds me of Max Cranberry. I've been loving this one too, which is called Peach Flush, which I can use as a... Um, oh, I don't know how well that's showing up. I've been using this as a brow highlight, uh, kind of on my cheeks and then in my inner corners of my eyes. What else have we got? Oh, I bought this in Duty Free in Manchester Airport this summer before uh, Dan and I went on holiday. And it's... I wanted... Max Paint Pot in Indian Wood, but they didn't have it. Uh, I'll link the post below. It was like the worst duty free ever. But I ended up picking up Rubenesque, and uh, I d oh gosh, I just love this peachy gold, shimmery paint pot that I just like uh, swoop over my eyelids on days when I just want to look more awake and can't be bothered with the whole technicalities of eye makeup. Other eye things that I have, having a rummage, are uh, eyeliners. For some reason, I seem to have. Rather a lot of eyeliners I in here. have Avon Super Shop Gel Eyeliner uh, in black. This is amazing. I, um, absolutely love this. Such a good eyeliner and stays on all this day. This is the Sleek Ooh La La Liner in Noir 289. Love this curl cool liner. Um, stays put as well a long time. Finally, the eyeliner that I've um, kind of been using more recently is this Jelly Pong Pong. <laughs> two-in-one eyeliner and shadow and it's just a black kind of crayon but it's so soft to work with. I have quite sensitive eyes on especially on a morning when I'm doing my makeup and this is just great. The things for eyes are gel eyeliners. This is one by Laura Geller and I love this. It's kind of you get the gel eyeliner in the bottom and it comes with a little brush. Um, I usually wear that on my upper lash line. Got that on today. Other gel eyeliners is MAC Blitz and Glitz 
which looks like that. You probably won't be able to see the gold flecks in it, but I love that so much. I'm absolutely loving mascaras at the moment. I'm using three. The NYC Sky Rise. Oh, this is just amazing for lengthening. I just love the brush. It works so effectively, just getting some length into your lashes. So I use that one first, followed by this one. This is the Gosh Growth Mascara, um, which intends to grow your eyelashes. I don't know if it's been working because I have quite long eyelashes anyway. But again, I love the brush on this and that's great for lengthening too. So yeah, when you've used those two, you've got extra long lashes. And finally, to plump them out and volumise them, I've been using the Model Zone High Definer Lashed Up um, volumizer mascara which has a very big chunky brush like that which I don't usually like using because it usually pokes me in the eye but it's great for winging the lashes out a little bit. Another random thing I found is the Ocean Fair makeup remover pen which just is great for tidying up um, your lips when you're wearing lipstick or if you've blotted some eyeliner or mascara. I think we're finally on to the lips. Very quickly I have a 17 lip pencil in the shade Hot Plum which looks like that. I have a MAC lip liner which doesn't have a colour but that's kind of red too. Um, as you know I kind of like wearing a red I have lip. A Jason uh, lips be healthier lip balm this is amazing what's this city lips plumping lip gloss this is amazing I've written a review on this this really does um, fatten your lips up quite a lot on to lipsticks the fun part I have been carrying around all of these ones so what do we have we have L'Oreal Colorie Star Secrets in 712 which looks like that kind of a purpley red colour love that we have a Benefit uh, No Competition lipstick, which is another purpley colour, which I love. I have Elizabeth Arden Brick, which I love completely. I've written a review recently on this, which is just a gorgeous brown red. Um, love that for any classy occasion. Uh, I do have more MAC lipsticks, but they're luring in their drawer. These are the ones I'm just carrying with me, so I have... Ruby Woo, which is just a gorgeous matte red. Girl About Town, oh, this brings back so much good memories for me. You know when you have a product that just makes you feel happy? That's this one. It reminds me of when I went to London for the first time with Dan, and I just love that lipstick. And finally, my most recent MAC lipstick, which is New York Apple, which I got from Duty Free. And that is just lovely. Love that one a lot. Uh, to set there is, I have Lip Coat, which, because I use pink and reds, is a very interesting colour to say the least. I have a um, Figs and Rouge lip balm, the cherry blossom one. This is great for if I am wearing a red lip. I can just dot a little bit of this on to give it a little bit of shine. And finally my MUA Pro Base Fixing Mist which is just great. I love this stuff. A uh, good alternative to the Urban Decay All Nighter. Scandinavia finish sprays. Um, absolutely love this. An absolute bargain. I think it's like three pounds or something. Whew. I don't know how long that took, but we're back full again. We're back to full capacity. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope I haven't rambled too much. And I hope you found this quite interesting. It's kind of made me realise that I need to kind of probably have a clear out because who needs like four lipsticks in there um, but like I said before this is the entire makeup that I will be taking with me when I go back to you. I think that's everything uh, it's been nice to be back on my YouTube channel and I will see you all next time bye everyone